Good morning, this is Charles with the Columbia Basin Herald, and here's our news roundup for Wednesday, September 6th. And a little bit of what's going to be in our newspaper today. A Quincy man will be spending six months in jail for strangling his girlfriend during an attack in July. Pablo Zapien, 22, of Quincy, pleaded guilty in Grant County Superior Court to second-degree assault with a domestic violence enhancement. Following a joint recommendation between Deputy Prosecutor Kevin McRae and Defense Attorney Michael Morgan, Grant County Superior Court Judge John Antos sentenced Zepien to six months in jail. A charge of harassment and domestic violence was dropped in a plea agreement between McRae and Morgan. In early July, the Quincy Police Department responded to a report of a physical domestic violence incident in progress at an apartment in the 200 block of D Street Southeast. Police responded to the scene and contacted the female victim, whom the officer reported had bruises on her neck, blood on her face, and clothes, and swelling to her face. You know the smoke is getting bad in Moses Lake when Bloon Heron Park can't be seen from Alder Street film. The smoke rolled over into the Columbia Basin over the Labor Day weekend, becoming increasingly thick and hazardous to health of, of locals as each day passed. The National Weather Service issued an air alert for eastern Washington until noon on Friday. Meteorologists say northeast and east winds brought the smoke into the area from large wildfires, currently burning in Montana and British Columbia. Closer to home, a number of fires in central and eastern Washington and Oregon are not helping matters any, as thousands of acres of land are currently burning and sending smoke into the air. The easterly flow of smoke is expected to continue all the way up to Thursday, but become increasingly lighter each day. The pattern is projected to continue until a cold front rolls in late Thursday, which will be followed by a southwesterly wind Friday morning. And speaking of smoke, when the smoke from a half a dozen fires is hanging heavy over the Columbia Basin, the Grant County Commission on Tuesday unanimously approved an annual countywide summer burn ban. The ban, which goes into effect immediately, will restrict burning in Grant County from June 1st through September 30th and automatically come into effect every year. Currently, county commissioners impose a burn ban as needed. The current countywide burn ban was enacted on June 28th. In the 21 years he has been in Grant County, Fire Marshal Dave Nelson told commissioners that there had been burn bans in 20 of them. Because of that, Nelson said it seems prudent to have an automatic burn ban. The new measure primarily limits the burning of yard waste and scrubland, Nelson said. Agricultural burning, particularly fields and orchards, is covered by state law and is not subject to county restrictions. And finally, a one-year class to help train people to work in the data center sector of the computer industry will be offered beginning this fall at Big Bend Community College. Big Bend officials work with managers at data centers located in Grand County to design the curriculum. Students can enroll and earn the Network Support certificate, Specialist Certificate of Accomplishment or the Systems Administration Certificate of Achievement at Big Bend, wrote BBC. Uh, Big Bend Community College Director of Communications, Matt Kilbrew. Completion of these certificates and additional work-based learning will provide students with the skills needed to enter this high-demand field. College officials worked with employees from Intuit, Microsoft Oath, NTT Data, Sabi Data Centers, and Vantage Data Centers, all located in the Quincy area. Well, that's our news for today. For details on these and other stories, please check out our website, www.columbiabasinherald.com, all one in a really long word, or buy the newspaper. Stay inside if you have to. Um, it'll eventually get better. Don't know when, but it will eventually get better. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.